Hey guys, how are you doing? And in this episode, we are going to see a couple of troubleshooting steps that will help you to fix Highway 16 fast battery drain problem. Recently, I have asked some of my audience in my another channel about how their battery performance is after updating their iPhone to iOS 16. Either they are experiencing fast battery drain or overheating or frequent apps crash is there or no problem, everything is working fine. And as you can see, 55% of the people have mentioned fast battery draining is happening. So majority of the users, even iPhone 13 Pro Max and the newly launched iPhone 14 Pro Max users are experiencing fast battery drain issue their battery performance is not as great as their previous iPhone 13 Pro Max. I have suggested a couple of troubleshooting steps and it seems to be working fine for users. They have replied to me confirming the same. So I wanted to suggest the same to you. And other than fast battery drain, if you're experiencing any display freeze or apps crash while opening any application, like some users while opening WhatsApp, while trying to type in the keyboard, everything got, you know, kind of frozen. So if in such cases, if you're unable to even force close the app by swiping from the bottom of the screen, then you need to restart your iPhone or perform a force restart of your iPhone. I leave a link to the tutorial video. It will help you to perform the force restart. It is simple, like you need to press and release the volume up button and volume down button, and you need to keep on pressing the side button, which is the right side button, the power button, then it will automatically force restart. So that will definitely be helpful and it won't be happening repeatedly. It happens rarely for, you know, the apps freezing or some crash related issues. So in such cases, you can do it. Before trying the troubleshooting steps, it is important to check two things. Number one is make sure your iPhone's battery health is not around 80%, 81 or 82 percentage. Even below that is a sign where you need to visit the Apple service center and get the battery changed first. That is the main reason for your poor battery performance. It's not just the iOS 16, it's the battery that needs to be replaced. Number two is make sure you're using original charging cable or M5 certified lightning cable because counterfeit cables or duplicate cables could cause battery related problems easily. From the graph you can see recently I have published a video about how my first day performance overall battery performance was after updating to iOS 16 and here after a couple of weeks you can see that the battery graph is still stable in the uh, the idle performance is still stable from 1 a.m. to you know till 7 a.m. but when I was using it I can clearly experience that my usage recently spiked up a lot with the Instagram app uh, and Facebook application especially but based on my usage compared to the iOS 15.6.1 uh, where I was after you know updating to iOS 16 I still feel that uh, there is a, like a 20% or 30 percentage battery is kind of fast draining while using it and for some users there is a new issue where the background app usage is quite high for example with Facebook it could be just one hour or one and a half hours on screen time but the background time could be six hours seven hours simply tap on that icon in the battery uh, section in the statistics page and you will know that for to fix that what you need to do is turn off background app refresh for that specific application either it is Facebook or something else and navigate to the settings and privacy and security and from there you need to take control of the Facebook or any specific application that is given access to photos because in my case I have changed it to none for the photos permission and then the background usage of the Facebook application has been limited a lot so similar to that make sure you have a full permission check done for all the applications that you have installed in your iPhone. Similar to that, you need to check for the Bluetooth, the camera, local network and all the other important hardware services that can be accessed by these applications. Don't let them access all these services independently. And the next important thing is you need to perform all settings reset. Navigate to settings, general, and then scroll to the bottom and there you will find the reset and or transfer option. From there, you can click on the reset button and reset all settings. Do not give erase all content and settings that will delete all the data from your iPhone. So that is not recommended. You need to tap on the reset option and then click on the reset all settings to just reset the settings. After performing all settings reset, it is important to take control of your 
location and uh, you know the settings location services settings which apps have access to it because by default all the services system related services will be reset as well like after performing the all settings reset so it is important to redo the configuration to have a better optimization with the battery performance overall in the background system services itself you know could consume the battery uh, to certain level so make sure these applications that you have installed that can access your location are set to while using none of the apps need to have the always uh, access to the location that is important so based on your requirement you can decide that and under that system services section you can see as i'm from india the apple pay is not yet available so i have kept the toggle off by default all these toggles will be on the compass calibration is not required for me in my iphone so i have kept it off if it is needed for you you can keep it on if you're using compass app regularly then it is must to keep that on other than that the device management emergency calls and sos find my iphone that toggles need to be on that is important i don't have any home kit accessories so i have kept it on the location based alerts and location based suggestions also not necessary for me at present so i have kept it off if in your area if you need that location based alerts you need to keep it on that is important if your government or any emergency alerts you normally receive then it is recommended to keep it on so read each the location each of the location uh, access that is given to the system services and then take control of it after this you can see for the next two to three days how the battery performance is overall and I'm pretty sure the fast battery draining will be fixed by now and you will definitely see some good improvements. There are few bugs in iOS 16 that needs to be fixed you know, to make the device even much stable. I'm sure Apple is already working uh, on it and you know, in upcoming couple of updates, we will be seeing a more fine-tuned stable performance in our iPhone. So do search our channel if you have any questions related to iPhone and iPad and Mac computer. You may find solutions faster. Thank you for watching and feel free to comment below after three to four days trying these steps. If it is working for you, your feedback will definitely helpful for others to decide and proceed the same. Thank you and have a wonderful day.